Do you want to become a backend developer in 2023 but don't know where to start? Are you looking for a step by step roadmap to become a backend developer? Then stay tuned because in this video I will talk about the programming languages, tools and technologies that you need to know in order to become a successful and profitable backend developer. So without wasting much more time let's get started. Unlike frontend backend is not visible to the users but the logic stays in the server and used for the proper working and functioning of the website. Now in order to learn backend the very first step is going to be learning a programming language. These days there are over hundreds of different programming languages that can be used as backend of applications. But in order to pick the best one needs a lot of research but don't worry because in this video I will guide you with the best programming language according to your needs. So according to the market and job demand there are two main programming languages languages in the head list that are Golang and Node.js. Now if you are curious about which one you should choose then let me tell you that both of these languages are in demand and both of them works very well as a backend programming language. Node.js is good for building large scale applications especially real time systems and chat apps whereas Golang is also growing to take high position as a backend language due to its well managed development experience and cloud based support. However, if you are a complete beginner then you should learn Golang and experience the modern backend development. But on the other hand if you have some experience in JavaScript or you have done web development before then you should definitely go with Node.js. Because Node.js is a JavaScript runtime and with only one language in mind you can do both frontend and backend at the same time. So this is one advantage of getting started with Node.js and become a full stack developer very quickly. Quickly. Now moving forward you need to learn a backend framework. A framework makes the development easier by omitting a lot of complicated code away. In case of Node.js you should learn Express which is a framework and it takes away all the complexity which makes Node.js extremely easy and powerful. Others also have their own framework like Python has framework called Django which makes backend development a lot easier. Similarly Java holds Spring framework. PHP has Laravel framework and Golang has Echo. A framework also reduces the amount of code one should write as a backend developer. Next you should know a little about Git and GitHub which helps you manage your code. A version control system is a tool that helps both backend and frontend developers to collaborate and control the changes they have made while programming. Therefore a version control system increases the project speed by allowing developers to interact, reducing errors and recover the code if it is accidentally deleted. So you should be familiar with the basic commands of git and you should at least know how to upload your code to github cloning and merging etc. Now the next step is to learn a database. Because with backend you can use a database to store all the data and for this you can either use relational database or non relational database. I recommend to go with a relational database like mysql first and once you get used to it then feel free to switch to a non-relational database like MongoDB. So at this point if you follow along you can call yourself a junior backend developer. And now you can also apply for jobs. But if you want to learn more then you can learn the topics such as API development, socket.io which is a package that is used to develop chat systems with Node.js, learn authentication and memory management. You can also learn testing which includes integration testing and end-to-end -end testing. Finally in order to remember all the things that you have learned you need to build projects. The best way to learn anything is to build projects. You can build clones of already existing websites and applications and in this way you can enhance your skills and become a better developer. So guys that's it for this video. I hope you find this video helpful. For more videos like this please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. At last thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.